everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day 16 of the holiday card series for 2015. Today I'm using the Christmas Cuddles stamp set from Newton's Nook, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with this stamp set. Because the images are outline images, you would naturally think that I would just color them in, but instead I'm going to be doing some embossing on black cardstock and then just coloring in small areas. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. I've cut my black cardstock to five inches wide by three and three quarters tall, and I'm applying a one inch post-it tape strip right across that piece there. It's about three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the cardstock, and it goes all the way across. I'm going to do a bunch of embossing, so I'm using my EK Success powder tool to prep that area for embossing. Then I took each of the images and stamped them in Versamark ink, creating sort of a random pattern of images. Wanted to make sure all of the areas were filled in. And for areas where there was a big gap or kind of like a little triangle shape or anything that was just large enough, I took the snowflake stamp from the stamp set and filled those in with the stamp set or with the snowflake. I just wanted it to look a little bit more festive with those snowflakes. I then took some Hero Arts white embossing powder and sprinkled that over the top of the stamping. The embossing powder sticks to wherever that Versamark ink is, so it's a really great ink to use, that Versamark. Sprinkling that on and then shaking off the excess. I kept the post-it tape on until this point when all of the embossing, embossing powder was applied. Then I peeled off that post-it tape and revealed the area underneath. I just didn't want to heat this while the post-it tape was still on the cardstock. So I took my heat tool and very slowly went over those areas until they were melted and smooth. Then I used my hand and just wiped off any of that uh, extra powder tool that I put down before I did my stamping, just in case any of it was still sticking around. I'm gonna use some gouache today. You guys saw me use this in last week's video. Gouache is a little bit like a tube of watercolor paint, except that it's opaque. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to this red color to get that paint moving a little bit more. And then as I add it to my project, it's going to be opaque. It's not going to let any of that black cardstock show through. So I'm just painting over some select areas in the images. I'm hitting the bows and some polka dots and the scarves on the cats. I just wanted to fill in some little areas. This area at the very bottom of the piece here, I didn't stamp very well. I didn't press down on my block enough when I was stamping it. So some of the image was missing. So I went ahead and just painted the other side of that bow. And then I used a white gel pen after it was dry and drew in those lines. It'll hardly be noticeable in the long run. And I just wanted to make sure that those images were finished. So then I switched to a different white gel pen because I have two white gel pens and I use them for different things. The first one was a jelly roll pen and I use that because it has a little bit of a finer line. And now I'm using a Uniball Signo Broad gel pen to put in some dash lines. I then used the Winter Scripty Sayings stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And I selected the one that says uh, Merry Christmas. And I'm going to be stamping that in that area in the center that I masked off previously. I prepped that area with my EK Success Powder Tool and then inked up my stamp using Versamark ink. I then pressed that down onto the cardstock and then I applied some white embossing powder over the top. So essentially this card design is all black and white with pops of red, so it's super simple. You could swap out that red color for any other color you'd like. I think it'd be really fun to make this in kind of like a fuchsia pink color, kind of a really, um, kind of trendy, non-traditional Christmas card. I think that'd be really cool. Used a dry paintbrush to wipe away any of the powder that was sticking around. And then used my powder, my uh, heat tool to heat set that. Now I'm taking some white pigment ink from Simon Says Stamp and a mini round blending tool. And I'm just bringing in a little bit of white pigment ink on the edges of the cardstock here. I just thought it sort of looked like a chalkboard and I thought I'd go ahead and just create that look even more with the ed with a little bit of white ink around the edges. My card base is made out of Nina Desert Storm and it was scored at five and a half to create a side folding landscape oriented card. Then put some adhesive on the back of my stamped piece and then press that down onto the card base. And I usually just start from one side, kind of press down the one side and then 
I can angle it and press down the other side and then I get a really nice card there. So this is essentially a one layer card, but I thought it needed another little pop of red. So I took a small die cut heart that I've previously cut out with my Simon Says Stamp mini heart die set. And I painted that or kind of colored it in with a festive berries marker from Tim Holtz. This is just the distress ink color festive berries. So I wanted it to be red underneath some Christmas red stickles. I've noticed if I add the stickles on top of white cardstock, sometimes the white shows through and I didn't want to chance that. So I just colored the heart first. So after the stickles were applied, that is the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back on Monday with another holiday card series card. Until then, happy card making and thank you so much for watching today's video. On screen are six more card videos for you to check out. If you've been watching my holiday card series this year, you are familiar with this screen at the end of my videos. These are the six previous years of the holiday card series. So if you, so if you would like to see all day 16 videos from the last six years, you can click on that right now. You can visit my blog at Kane Warner Design, and you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. Those links are down in the video description or over at my blog. Once again, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.